We're back on the Chef You and I with Abby Bachnick and Katherine Raker. Well, you know, I'm so happy that you're with me today, Abby, right? And tell me what you like in school. I like gym class. Gym class, P.E. Then you must like sports. Yes. What kind of sports do you like? Um, Come on back up here. I do gymnastics, basketball, soccer, cheer. And what else? What, what do you do the best, do you think? Um, probably basketball. You love basketball. Have you ever invited me to a basketball game? No. Would you this year? Maybe. Yes, maybe. Okay, but what is your favorite thing that you love to eat? Brownies. Brownies. Okay, so we're going to be doing brownies today, and we're also going to be doing a little bit of frozen yogurt on it, because Ooh. why? That's healthy. Isn't it? Yep. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we, we're going to, I'm going to read off the ingredients. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. We're going to use one half of a cup of vegetable oil, which is right there. We're going to use a half a, no, a cup of sugar, uh, a teaspoon of vanilla, which we have right here. Um, we also need a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, which we have here. We need uh, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, and we're using liquid Hershey's, okay, <laughs> instead. And we're also going to use a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a cup of flour, which is right here. So the first thing that we're going to do, Abby, is we're going to mix our oil and sugar. So I brought you this little thing right here, so I need you to take the oil and the sugar and mix it together. Okay, can you do that? Yep. Just pour that in. Then give it to me, and I'll be the person that gets rid of it for you. And then the sugar. Good girl. And let's do this. Um, I've got the spoon. Let me do this for you. And what I want you to do is I want you to mix it really thoroughly. Okay. So you have a thing right there, so do that. That's really good, isn't it? Yep. We're getting that, get all that sugar in there. That's good. All the different pieces. Right. Your, your friends are going to love your cooking show, aren't they? Maybe. Maybe? Are you going to tell them to go and watch it? Good. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our eggs and vanilla. So here's your eggs. And here's, uh, what does it call for? A teaspoon of vanilla. So let's do that. Come on, stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. So we need a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so keep mixing, right? And then what we need is a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. And I think the baking powder is right over there. So I need you to hand that to me. And that's a half, that's a fourth. Okay, here we go. We need this much baking powder. Okay, so mix that really well. And then what we need is um, a quarter teaspoon of salt and our cocoa powder. So we're gonna pour the cocoa powder, which is Hershey's liquid, right? Chocolate. Chocolate. So this should be fine. All right, so we got that. And then what we wanna do is, actually, you want to mix all of your dry ingredients, but we've already done it, so we're just gonna mix them all together now, okay? So I want to add that. And um, I also want a teaspoon of salt, or a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, right? Right. And then we're going to add nuts to it, okay? So there you go. Pretty simple. Since we're using liquid, since we're using liquid, we, we did it a little differently. You want me to help you? Sure. Or can you do it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're a big help in the kitchen for your mom, right? Right. And you really love to do this, right? Well, it looks pretty mixed and blended to me, right? So what we're going to do now, Abby, is we're going to actually pour it into our silicone zone pan that they were so sweet to give us, right? And it's very flexible. It's very flexible. So put it right there. You want me to help you? You spread it, okay? Ready? Okay. Here we go. Looks so good. I can't wait to try these. Can you? I can't wait either. This is good. Get it all in there. Great. That's super. 
So we're going to let your grandpa, who happens to be with us today, taste test this. Right? Right. All right, Abby, what we need to do, Abby, is to clean this off a little. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to wipe it off. Okay. Now, I think our apple crisp ought to be done. What do you think? Yep. It's think? been in there for about 30 minutes. Right. Well, we had to look at it a little differently. It looks really good. Just give it a few more minutes and it should be done. I can't wait. Can you wait? I can't. Well, tell me a funny story. Do you have any funny stories about cooking ever? Um, actually, one time I was trying to make tuna um, casserole. casserole, and I was trying to open the tuna, and I cut open my finger. Oh, no. And, and where'd you go? The hospital? I went to, to my mother. And she cooked. fixed your hand? Yeah, she's a nurse. She's a nurse, so she fixed your hand, yeah. right? Okay, well, that makes it easy, right? So she's pretty nice to, she's pretty nice to have around, isn't she? Yeah. Right. So, you know, one time i got to tell you a funny story. Actually, one of our chefs, I won't mention who, decided to do a shake or something or blend stoop or something, and he forgot that, that the top wasn't on and it was hot. And so guess what happened? It went everywhere. everywhere. It exploded. It looked like a volcano happened, right? Right. And another time he used to tell me not to ever, to me sure about cutting so that I didn't cut my hand, right? So the next show we had, you know what happened? He cut part of his finger off. Not on the show though, but he had this big bandage on, right? And so you have to be really careful, right? With knives. So you should protect right. your hands, right? Very much so. I think our I think we're gonna take a break on this note and we're gonna check on our apple crisp and then we're gonna put our beautiful brownies in mm -hmm. and we're gonna cook those for let's see how long we should need to cook those for. I think we're gonna cook those for twenty minutes, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll check on those and then we'll serve those with ice cream. But the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wonderful pizza oh. on the grill. How about that? Pretty okay. exciting. You ready yep. for that? Okay, we'll take a, right, a break right now. And do you want to go ahead sure. and do this? We'll be right back on the Chef You and I with Abby Bachnick and Catherine Raker.